Good afternoon, my students. Me, Mrs. Sawyer Zaki, will be with you today, and we are going to uh, discuss the phenomena of light, light reflection, and light reflection. This is our third uh, lesson in the second unit for uh, students in middle two. Let's begin. In our lesson today, you are going to uh, learn and be able to define the concept of light reflection, identify the laws of light reflection, and deduce the angle of incidence and reflection. At the first, Let's learn what is meant by light reflection. Light reflection is the returning back of light waves to the same medium on meeting at reflecting surface. This means that the light rays act as a basketball when you throw the basketball to the ground, it returns back to the same medium to the air, directly to your hand once more. This is how the light works when it falls on a reflecting surface as a mirror or uh, something shiny like uh, a metallic sheet or uh, any other reflecting surface. In this uh, uh, photo, you can see how this uh, uh, wonderful uh, scene is reflected by the settled water. The settled water in this scene acts as the reflected surface, and that is why the um, scene is uh, repeated or is formed on the surface of the water due to the light reflection. So once more, what is meant by light reflection? It's the returning back of light waves to the same medium on meeting a reflecting surface. Now, what are the types of light reflection? There are two types of light reflection. The first one is called the regular reflection or the uniform reflection. In this type of light reflection, the reflected ray will be uh, reflected only in one direction. And in this case, the reflected surface is a completely smooth surface, such as a mirror. So this type of reflection is called regular or uniform reflection. In this type of reflection, the incident rays reflects in one direction. So each one of the falling rays on the mirror will be reflected together in the same direction because they fall on a smooth surface as a mirror. So if you want to talk about the uniform reflection, you must talk about reflection out of smooth surface as a mirror and the uh, reflection must be in one direction. This is called the uniform uh, reflection. The second type of reflection is the non-uniform reflection. In this case, the surface, the reflecting surface, is a rough surface, like a piece of wood, for example. In this case, the reflection occurs in the way uh, such as in uh, this uh, photo. All the beam of light falls parallel to each other 
in one direction, but the reflected ray uh, reflects in many directions. So, in this case, the reflection will be in many directions because the uh, surface here is a rough surface, not a smooth surface such as a piece of wood or a leather piece. Now let's discuss and conclude the laws of light reflection. Let's see together this animation. In this animation, we will uh, use a beam of light ray that uh, uh, emerges from a laser pen and when this beam of light ray falls on the uh, reflected surface on the mirror, it reflects by a certain angle. So we will measure the angle of incidence, which is the angle between the incident light ray and the normal. Then we will measure the angle of reflection, which is the angle between the reflected light ray and the normal. Then we will register the two angles. In the second step, we will change the angle of incidence and measure the angle of reflection. Then change once more the angle of incidence and measure the angle of reflection in each case. What we will observe? We will observe that in each case, the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. And if we change the angle of incident ray, the angle of reflected ray will be changed by the same angle. So our first law is the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. First law of light reflection, the angle of incidence, which is the angle between the incident light ray and the normal, equals the angle of reflection, which is the angle between the reflected light ray and the normal. And what is meant by the normal? The normal is imaginary line perpendicular on the reflected surface directly on the point of incidence. This is called the normal. And we use the normal line to measure angle of incidence and angle of reflection. So, if angle of incidence, for example, equals 30 degree, the angle of reflection also will be equals 30 degree. And if you change angle of incidence to 60 degree, the angle of reflection directly be changed to 60 degree and so on. The second law of reflection the incident light ray. This is the incident light ray, which is the light ray falls on the reflected surface. And the reflected light ray, which is the light ray that we turn back to the same medium. And the normal. All these lines are in one plane that is perpendicular to the reflected surface. So the second law is the, once more the incident light ray, the reflected light ray and the normal are all in one plane perpendicular to the reflected surface. Let's uh, learn together the concepts of light reflection. The incident 
light ray. What is meant by the incident light ray? The incident light ray, this is the incident light ray in the photo, is the light ray that falls on the reflected surface. This is the incident light. The reflected light ray is the light ray that reflects off the reflecting surface. This is the reflected light ray. The third concept is the angle of incidence, which is the angle between the incident light ray and the normal. So the angle of incidence is the angle between incident light ray and the normal. The angle of reflection, which is the angle between the reflected light ray and the normal. Now let's have this uh, question. What will happen when a light ray falls normal on a mirror? What is meant by, by the light ray falls normal? This means that the, the light ray falls perpendicular on the mirror. And in this case, the angle of incidence will be equals zero. And so the angle of reflection. So the light ray in this case will reflect on itself. So if you have this question in your exam, what will happen when the light ray falls normal on a mirror? You will answer it reflects on itself. In some cases, we asked you about the reason why the light ray that falls normal on the reflected surface reflects on itself. So here is uh, the answer. Because angle of incidence equal angle of reflection equal zero. So our answer here is angle of incidence equal angle of reflection equal zero. And that is why the light ray returns on itself or reflects on itself. Mention the type of reflection when light ray falls on. The first case, the woolen jacket. In this case, you must um, classify the type of reflected surface. Is it completely smooth reflected surface, like a mirror, for example, or it's a, a rough reflected surface? If it's a smooth reflected surface, the reflection will be uniform. And if uh, the reflected surface is rough reflected surface, so the reflection will be non-uniform. In case of a woolen jacket, of course, the surface will be rough, so it's a non-uniform reflection. The second case is the stainless steel sheet. In case of stainless steel sheet, it's completely smooth. So it's a, a uniform reflection. So in case of full and jacket, the reflection will be non-uniform reflection. And in case of stainless steel sheet, the reflection will be uniform reflection. Now write the scientific term. The bounding of light waves in the same medium on meeting a reflecting surface. What is meant by bounding of light waves in the same medium on meeting a reflecting surface? Of course, this is called reflection of light. The second scientific term, angle between reflected ray and the normal. 
of course this angle is the angle of reflection write the scientific term number three angle between incident ray and the normal yes this is the angle of incidence write the scientific term number four light ray that falls on the mirror what is the name of this light ray yes excellent it's the incident light ray now number five what is the name of the light ray that returned back or returning out of the reflecting surface yes sir this is the reflected light ray now give the scientific term number six angle of incidence equals angle of reflection of course this is the first law of light reflection now let's solve this problem together if the angle between the incident light ray and the reflected light ray equals 140 degree calculate the angle of incidence if we uh, draw a um, simple sketch for this uh, problem as shown uh, here this is the mirror our reflected surface and this one is the incident light ray and this one is the, the reflected light ray and here is the, the angle that uh, uh, is given in our problem which is 140 degree the angle between the incident light ray and the reflected light ray we uh, have learned that uh, the angle of incidence is the angle between the incident light ray and the normal and the reflected light ray is the angle between the reflected light ray and the normal so and um, by returning to the first law of reflection the angle of incidence equal to the angle of uh, reflection so the 140 degree is the sum of uh, the two angles the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection and uh, as the two angles are equal so each one of them will be equal to the half of this value so to solve this uh, problem the angle of incidence will be equal 140 divided 2 and so the angle of incidence will be equals 70 degree and if uh, we ask you about uh, to uh, how to calculate the angle of reflection it will be the same answer the angle of reflection also will be equals 140 divided 2 and this means the angle of reflection will be equals 70 degree now let's solve our second problem calculate the angle of reflection if the angle between the incident light ray and the reflected surface equals 30 so if this is our reflecting surface and this is the incident light ray this is the angle that uh, lies between the incident light ray and the reflected surface which is equal 30 and this angle is the, the angle of incidence how to calculate the angle of incidence the normal line falls perpendicular on the reflected surface so this angle is right angle so to calculate the angle of incidence which lies between the incident light ray and the normal we do this the next step angle of incidence 
equals 90 minus 30. So angle of incidence equals 60 degree. And from the first law of reflection, angle of incidence equal angle of reflection. So the angle of reflection will be also equals 60 degree. This is the end of our session today. I hope to see you next session, inshallah.